Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys a few minimal gift ideas. It is the Christmas season and I feel like that's a time of year when we sort of end up spending a lot more money than we anticipated and I really wanted to do this video because this year for Christmas Luke and I aren't actually doing Christmas presents. We had a talk about it and we've decided that because we've got so many other goals and other things coming up in the next year, we are going to Europe and to the USA for Luke's brother's wedding. We've got our own wedding and honeymoon to save for. There's just, you know, obviously the other odd thing that pops up. We thought that it would be best to just enjoy Christmas and enjoy that time together rather than giving each other a present. So I've been thinking a lot about very minimal gifts or gifts that aren't necessarily very expensive that would be great to share with your loved ones or particularly those people who don't really want a gift, people who are trying to live a minimalist lifestyle and they're trying to reduce the amount of things that they own. So I'll get started and the first thing is something that I always love receiving and love purchasing for myself and it is a candle. So I've got two of my favorite brands here Diptyque and these are on the more expensive side. I think they're around 60 Australian dollars if memory serves me correctly And then I really like the Volu Spa Candles I actually got mine from Nordstrom, but I have seen a few local shops selling these but these are just like, They've got the most amazing scent the one that I've got here is apple and blue clover and it's just a really pretty light and fresh fragrance for the summertime. I think that they're one of those things that most people tend to enjoy having in their houses. It's really nice to be able to light a candle and just have that really beautiful aroma wafting through your home. Personally, I don't like to give things like vanilla scents as I do find that they can be quite cloying and very, very strong. I tend to go for the more fruity or earthy or woody scents because they are ones that tend to burn a bit better over time. So the next thing that I think is really great to give someone who isn't really focused on having things is an experience. And this could be something like a massage because who doesn't need a massage in this day and age? Something like skydiving which is actually what I'm going to be giving Luke for his next gift. I've already ruined the surprise so I guess I can tell you guys. So something like skydiving or bungee jumping would be really great if the person that you are gifting to is really into extreme sports. Just remember this is on the more expensive end of the scale or else if it's for your loved one, say it's a boyfriend or your husband or your partner then I I think a really lovely weekend away to a winery is always a really nice treat as well. Now I am really big on books. I enjoy reading so much and I tend to read on my way into work and the way home. It's just that time where I can have absolutely no distractions and just get stuck into what it is that I am reading at that time. So I actually read all of my books either on my Kindle or else on an iPad. I've got the Kindle app on my iPad. So I think that a really great gift that you can give someone who's really into reading and who has a Kindle is an Amazon voucher. This way they can go online, they can pick whatever books that they are really interested in reading or that they've had on their wish list and then they can devour them over the next few months. And I think this is a really great purchase for two reasons. The first is that you're kind of giving them the option because sometimes it can be really difficult choosing a gift for a friend or for a loved one and also you're not actually purchasing them a physical object. So it's all going on to something they already own so it's not going to take up any more space. I also think that other really great voucher ideas are things like iTunes vouchers or just general book vouchers if the person likes to have physical books. Otherwise, I also really think that a great voucher, if you live in Australia or New Zealand, is one from Country Road just because they've got some really beautiful homewares, but they've also got really nice clothing. I think that's also a great place to kind of give a voucher for. On the topic of giving a gift that they can use up or that's not going to really be sticking around in their house, I think that food or something that can be used in baking or cooking is a really great idea as well. So giving really beautiful oils that have been infused with something like chili infused oil or cumin infused oil is really really lovely. Giving a really sweet sort of an antipasto platter style gift so cheeses and crackers and olives all of that sort of thing is always really nice and you know that this is something that's going to be devoured within a matter of weeks or even days depending on the person. So I was sitting on that same note something like 
wine or a really beautiful liqueur is also a lovely gift to give as well as long as the person does drink alcohol and obviously I'm not kind of saying <laughs> go and buy them a bottle of wine it's always a nice treat and it's one of those things that's going to be drunk over the festive season usually I also think that this is a really good opportunity to give something homemade so you could bake some beautiful cookies you could bake a cake you could make some homemade preserves or jams I think those are really lovely gifts to give and it doesn't take a huge amount of cost from you but obviously a lot of care and thought has gone into the present and on that topic of giving something handmade you might have seen my Christmas advent calendar but if you haven't I do think that this is a really fun kind of a gift to give I think um, you can obviously put chocolates in there so again that's that kind of thing that they'll be able to consume over a few days or weeks or months depending on how slowly they go through it. I think this shows that you've put a lot of thought and effort into what it is that you're making and it's also really fun as well. One thing that I really enjoy doing is taking photos whether that be with friends or with family or just in general when I'm out and about and I think a really fun gift idea is an Instax camera. So I picked mine up recently and had so much fun with all of my friends taking silly photos with this and I think it really does encourage people to kind of get involved and do something together and this is a really great gift to give on Christmas Day because you're with your loved ones and it's that opportunity to take photos and capture memories that you'll have forever. Obviously this is on the more expensive end of the scale and buying the film can be really expensive over time as well but I think this is a really great gift for someone who really enjoys taking photos and keeping those memories forever. I also think it's a really nice idea to print out some photos that you have taken. I think that living in such a digital age we sort of forget to do that and most of our photos live on our computer and so quite often you're not really sharing them with people and one thing I know more than anything my grandparents really love receiving photos. They're not very tech savvy which you wouldn't expect for someone in their 80s and they just really enjoy having those photos so that they can put it in their album and look at it when they want to so I think that's a really great gift for you know your grandparents if you're a bit unsure or stuck on what to give them. There's one gift that I really enjoy receiving. I am such a huge tea drinker. I drink herbal tea every single day and I think it's just a really lovely gift to give someone if they are into teas as well. There's this really beautiful shop in the Strand Arcade in Sydney which sells the most beautiful herbs and spices and also a really great selection of teas and they sell the most beautiful Moroccan mint tea. I can't remember what the name of it is but it's on the ground floor if you live in Sydney. Otherwise I really like tea too as well. I think they make some really gorgeous teas they've got such a huge selection I think a box of one of their teas and also a tea strainer is a really lovely gift the last gift idea that I wanted to share is probably more for those who are extreme minimalists and who really do not want to receive anything I think it's a really nice idea to donate to a charity perhaps of their choosing or that's related to a cause that they are really passionate about I think it's just really nice to support that and then you can provide them with a certificate I believe that shows that you've made that donation in their name. It's a really small but very easy thing to do and it's also going to have a positive impact on somebody else's life. So those were all of my Christmas and minimalist style gift ideas. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and that you were able to get some inspiration for the upcoming Christmas season. It's definitely a time of year that I find a little bit overwhelming, particularly going to the shops. But I do hope that you were able to get some ideas on what to purchase your loved ones this Christmas from this video. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time. Bye.